Oh, it's been 60 years since I returned to Jerusalem as a girl with my mother and father. Uh, now I'm an old woman. My family lived in Babylon during the reign of Xerxes. And, oh, beautiful Queen Esther. Uh, now it is King Artaxerxes, the king of kings, who has sent Ezra the scribe and many others to bring more of the children of God back to our homeland. Uh, you, you don't know Ezra? Oh, he's a descendant of Aaron uh, and Sarai, the last high priest before the captivity. Oh, he's such a wise man and one who loves the Almighty. He's also skilled in law of Moses, which our Lord God of Israel gave to that great leader so many years ago. Uh, many of us feel that Ezra is a second Moses. He has the endurance and character of that great leader, and he's a skilled scribe, uh, something I've never been taught to do. Ezra and the new wave of brothers and sisters arrived in Jerusalem with priests and Levites, and the singers, the gatekeepers, the more. It was uh, uh, the fifth month, that is right. They tell me the seventh year of the king, but I'm getting forgetful these days. <laughs> Oh, Ezra had prepared his heart to seek the law of the Lord and to do it and to teach statutes and ordinances in Israel. I have been told they walked 900 miles northeast and then south beyond the great Euphrates. And still some of the children of Israel chose to stay in Babylon. Hmm. Ezra. Ezra, a man above all men, has prayed to Almighty God for forgiveness for the people, and he forbid our men from marrying false women who bring in false gods to the homes. He's watchful of the laws of Moses and sees that they are carried out properly and not with laziness like the priests had been doing. Oh, Ezra, Ezra, a man above all men, has a heart for Almighty God, and he makes sure we all do as well. You see, Ezra read the letter of the king for all of us, and oh, to my old heart, it was such encouragement. I tried to memorize some of it since I, I want to keep it in my heart. I know it was written by Artaxerxes, the king of kings, to Ezra the priest, a scribe of the law of the God of heaven. He wrote perfect peace and so forth and all those good uh, issuances and then he said I give a decree that all those of the people of Israel and the priests and the Levites whoever volunteered to go to Jerusalem may go with you Ezra and you Ezra you are being sent by me and my counselors I want you to go inquire to the well-being of Judah and Jerusalem with regard to the law of your God this is in your hand, so carry the silver and gold which I give to you. I freely offer to the God of Israel, whose dwelling is in Jerusalem. And whereas all the silver and gold you may find in the province of Babylon, you may also take, along with the free will offering of the people and the priests to be freely offered for the house of your God in Jerusalem. Oh, be careful. I remember he told Ezra in the letter, be careful to buy with the money I give you, the bulls, the rams, the lambs, the grain offerings, the drink offerings, and offer them on the altar of the house of your God in Jerusalem. Oh, and whatever seems good to you, Ezra, and your brethren, to do with the rest of the silver and gold, do according to the will of your God. <laughs> and the articles that are given to you for the service of the house of your God, deliver in full before the God of Jerusalem. Whatever more may be needed for the house of your God, you have uh, you have to pay from my king's treasury. Yes, and I, even I, Artaxerxes the king, issue a decree to all the treasurers who are in the region beyond the river that whatsoever Ezra the priest, the scribe of the law of the God of heaven, may require be done diligently for him. Up to 100 talents of silver, 100 cores of wheat, 100 baths of wine, 100 baths of oil, and so on. Oh, the salt was without limit. <laughs> What a wise king he was. He knew. He knew Ezra would be careful to do the best with the money he gave to the second group of exiles that came those long 60 years after my family had come with the first group. But it is what Artaxerxes wrote next that is amazing for a king to write, for he did not come from the children of Almighty God, 
And he said, Whatever is commanded by the God of heaven, let it be diligently done for the house of the God of heaven. For why should there be wrath against the realm of the king and his sons? Oh, is this not wise of this king of kings? Uh, I have not committed the rest to memory, but I know that there will not be any taxes or tributes imposed on our priests, our Levites, our singers, oh, the gatekeepers, and any who serve the house of God. Oh, and Ezra? Ezra, a man above all men, I tell you, he is so wise. He was set by this king to be, to, to, to pick judges for the people, to remind us the laws of our God, and to teach those of us that did not know them. Ah, oh, but then he says, and any that keep not the law of the Lord, and the law of the king will be put to death or banished, lose their goods, be imprisoned. Yes, there are heavy penalties for disobeying the Lord. Oh, my old heart agrees with Ezra who gave this blessing. Blessed be the Lord God of our fathers, who has put such a thing as this in the king's heart to beautify the house of the Lord which is in Jerusalem, and has extended mercy, mercy to me, mercy to the people before the king, his counselors, before all the king's mighty princes. So Ezra was encouraged. He said the hand of the Lord was upon him, and he gathered the leading men of Israel to go up with him, and I, I therefore am encouraged, for that means the hand of the Lord is also upon me and my house, and we are one under the Lord God Almighty. Now I am at the end of my days, yes? But my heart is blessed in the Lord God of Israel and the King of Kings, who would allow us to serve our God in this land, not only allow, but he insists upon it, this King. There has been much told to us in the last few months, and many of the things that I have been told I have forgotten. My brain is just so tired, I am so old. But I know there was great prophecy given by Malachi. I do not quite understand the prophecy. But I know it's for our coming Messiah. And my heart is blessed. What need do I have to understand all the words of the Lord? As long as I believe he will keep his word to all his children. Hmm? And from the day of our father Abraham until today, when the people return from exile to rebuild the land of our forefathers, I am a great peace in Almighty God. Our God, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, I have great shalom.